Uh, let's get to Bob Bassani. Bob, we do have a bid here, at least for some of the biggest cap technology names. But overall, of course, the market continues lower, though already off its lows of the session. Yeah, it, it's a, a very strange market. It's actually a very modest drop. The S&P is holding up OK this week, and yet there's a lot of underlying anxiety. Let's just take a look. Uh, nice open here. At least we're seeing some movement uh, in some of the tech names here. It's flattish, but not as bad. There's the ARC fund uh, week again. But you see the reflation trade is not working and the tech trade is not working. This is a sort of characteristic of parts of the market in the last few days. It's got a little bit of concern. Energy is a complete round trip. I mean, it was up 10 percent in the last month. It is down 10 percent. Uh, in the last month. Uh, as far as market issues, there's three or four things that are really weighing on everybody right now. First is that we've had these stable lower yields. It's not helping stocks overall. Then we have the high tech multiple names, those over 30 multiple sort of breaking down rather noticeably. The reflation trade is not really running anymore. It's not dropping dramatically. Energy is, but the rest of it's just not really going up anymore. And then we've had the strange issue in the last few days where there just seems to be a lot less retail interest. I don't know how much of a trend this is. But yesterday, very strange with GameStop and AMC. Big day for GameStop, down 30 percent going into the close and could not attract any buyers. Two thirds of the normal volume. Same with AMC. Big down day. You see kind of uh, flattish today. But you want to keep an eye on that retail interest. Maybe David's right. Maybe they're all out uh, betting on March Madness at this point. In terms of sectors here, very noticeable moves here in the last Really, since the middle of February, an interest rate started moving up. You see the ARC fund down 30 percent, the IPO fund down 28 percent, SPAC. You see all, all down about the same here, those big uh, uh, momentum names, the NASDAQ. S&P still only down 3 percent from the historic high. So that's what's strange about the certain sectors of the market hit really strongly. You can see today, if you look at some of the ARC Invest holdings like CRISPR Therapeutics and Zoom Video, Teladoc, uh, Zillow, Roku, all of those names uh, flattish to slightly down again. But there's a lot of damage in these names. If you look at it from their 52-week high, and for most of the cases, the 52-week high was in the middle of February when interest rates started going up. That's when they started going down. Look at these declines here. Now, some of these all have multiples that are huge. Zoom has an 80 multiple, but some of them don't even make any money. CRISPR, Teladoc, Roku, they're still losing money. So they don't even have forward multiples. That's what I mean. The big high multiple names are the ones that have got hit most as rates have moved up a little bit. Finally, just want to note the mega cap tech names, uh, not nearly as much damage, but that's still pretty noticeable. You know, AMD, Xilinx, some of the big semiconductor names, more than 20 percent off of their highs. Very strange moment in the market here. Not quite rotation, not quite moving down. They're, they're struggling to get a coherent theme going. David, back to you. Yeah, thanks, Bob. No, that seems certainly to be the case. And again, those big cap uh, tech names are a bit higher this morning. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.